I hope you're hungry. <laughs> where am I now? Oh boy, wait till you see where I am now. Ooh, down here in Little Italy. That's this shit. Oh, fucking. There we go, man. San Gennaro. Every year, same time. San Gennaro. Yo. Feast down here in Little Italy. My name is Marcus Conti. I've escaped my mother's basement for at least today. Reporting down here in Lower Manhattan. Nothing really to report. It's all the same old shit news, right? So I'm getting out. Get him. Get out amongst the people. My peoples. There's all those gangsters. You know that story I did yesterday with the gangsters? It's one of their churches. Hmm. Money is good. Money is good, is it? Because that's exactly what I want to talk about today. So the title of this one is Corporate Tyranny. <laughs> that has absolutely nothing to do with the, with the location. That's just for you to enjoy. <laughs> but in effect it does. This is, this is tourists, right? This is locals and tourists. People slamming into me. I'm going to start slamming back. <laughs> And uh, it's not a real slice of America. It's kind of a touristic, you know, touristic view. Want to see some sausage? Oh, shit. Ah, fucking. La, 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 la. Mm. I don't eat that stuff. Poor pig. So, corporate tyranny. What is corporate tyranny? It's when the plight of the American people is ignored. You're saying, Conti, what the hell are you talking about? You're always talking about this shit. You want to talk about, you want to talk about the economy is going down the toilet. You know, look at this. Look at all this wealth. Look, everybody's eating. Everybody's happy, right? It's no fucking poverty, right? I'm making it up, right? I am making it up. But how is it that 60% of the country is, is hurting bad? Object poverty everywhere. How is that? 80% of the country living paycheck to paycheck? Right? One in seven on food stamps. You know the statistics because I've said them 25 times already. But meanwhile, we still look for the jerk off, you know, uh, you know, representatives. Ocasio Cortez is going to save the day. You heard? She sided with Cuomo. It's typical. Trump's going to save the day. Raises the taxes. He lower, lowers corporate tax. Save the day. That kind of shit, right? right? Instead of addressing the problems we face, right? Corporate media, they, they project images of wealth and prosperity that doesn't really exist anymore in America, right? If you're lucky, once a week you get to come out here, right? you get to walk the San Gennaro Feast. But for the most part, people watching this probably don't even... Cannoli. <laughs> most of the people watching this don't even, aren't even able to get out anymore, you know? Right? We've strapped the, 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 the new generation down so much. Well, in the 80s, I used to travel all the time, right? Used to go here and there, you know? Not anymore, man. You can't do that shit. Kids today, they can't do any of that shit, right? And fucking, they're working at Starbucks for, for $14 an hour, paying an exorbitant rent, right? Chris Hedges said, I watched a clip the other day, said, the longer a power structure refuses to confront their own misgivings, who they have become, and the exact nature of their wrongs, the longer they perpetuate the false sense of innocence and integrity, the more monstrous they become. 
the more damage they inflict on others. The more it becomes essential that they are removed from power. Ooh, that's so true. Think about that for a second. Why switch hands? The point I'm trying to make is, what is the solution? These are the, the things that so you, the things that we all want, right? Right? The things that we all want are the same. We want an honest government, a government of the people, by the people, for the people, right? We want all that stuff. But instead, we get this this other version of it, where only one percent of the population benefits right and the other 99% choke right corporate tyranny that's the problem that's the problem we face so that all people can enjoy their lives and their liberty instead of chasing rabbit holes you know you got the corporate media promoting these fictitious images of wealth that don't exist to people who are so poor that they that's like it's almost like um, it's almost like they're punishing them see they're punishing them by showing images of people so prosperous right right you know what I mean and then there's our community the the, the internet the internet crowd all, all the all the people that are so against all that shit, right? But then they censor their own boards, right? They chase rabbit holes like, like Q. I want to talk about Q for one second and I'll let it go. I know people love it and people hate it, but Q is, a, is, is really just a figment of people's imagination. They want to believe that it's, it's close to the fire. It's some sort of, it's some sort of uh, clandestine information coming from the president or whoever the president that's what they believe right and all along we know that it's right now not really <laughs> and, re and really do you know who my who the, what show it is well you know said <laughs> so my show sucks <laughs> thanks man for making me feel good about myself so so um I two off my game fucking guy right anyway so uh so I'm talking about poverty. That's what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about, you know, right now, I, you know, it's like, um, it's when do people realize just how bad it is? When are, when are people willing to admit that they're, that they're not doing so well, you know? I think that's the point. I think that's the point. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just out in the public today checking out the shit. I'll shut up for a, while, for a minute. I'll let you guys enjoy the show. Who is San Gennaro, anyway? Some Italian. Who the hell knows? I don't fucking know who he is. It's all about the food down here, man. That's all it is. We'll come here to eat. Hey, sausage. Fucking sausage. Endless sea of sausage. <laughs> sausage, as far as the mo eye can see. I'm telling you, man, the pigs are not happy about that. Pigs didn't get the memo. Run the other way. Ah, America, good country, yeah? What else do I want to say about poverty? 
What else do I want to say about poverty? Yeah. Right? Because those statistics I just threw at you, how, how is it that, that the corporate media is touting amazing job growth? Right? How is it that they're saying that? How can they, how can they, how can they do that with a straight face? Right? Right? Real unemployment in this country is probably about 20%. That fictitious number, two and a half, three percent is bullshit. That's a bullshit number. I know the studio was out of had no Unemployment? That's what they say. Job claims are down, stock market's robust. We're doing good, we're doing good. Doing good. Mr. Mushroom. <laughs> now he's the orange mushroom. Orange mushroom man said, we're doing good. That's the point. It's like, when do, we, when do we fight back? When do we say enough is enough? It's so easy. If all the people come together, if we just do this, you know what I mean? We pull Gandhi. Right? That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to be the guy that just repeats the same old bullshit online every day. You know what I mean? It's the same old news. It's chasing the rabbit holes. The Russia Gate and Hillary Gate, Hillary Gate and Rosenstein Gate and, and Stokes. And it, don't you realize it leads nowhere? It's nowhere. These people will never go to jail. Only in a complete collapse will they ever hang. Anything short of that, they're protected by a the oligarchy. Stop chasing them and go after the corporations. Because that's where the money is. You want to win, that's where you go. Right? Right? It's organic. It's organic? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Slamming into people again. Uh oh. My detachable penis is going crazy. <laughs> Come on back. Oh, there we go. Come back to Earth. Attachable penis. <laughs> so this is San Gennaro. You walk, I think it's like five blocks. I don't know how many blocks I already walked. The same old shit. Same old shit every block. But this is where the old gangsters used to live, Mulberry Street, Mulberry Street, New York City. Real gangsters, not the, not the dime store phonies. Think about that poverty, man. Speak up about it. Don't put your faith in Ocasio-Cortez, Trump. These people have let you down. Right? Over and over and over again. What do I want? What do I want? Why do I say this shit? What do I see as, a, as, a, as, a, as making America great again? Cultural boom. Clash of ideas. Music, art. People have leisure again, time, to enjoy their lives. They're not running around like, like crazy people trying to pay a bill while their life flashes by, you know? That's what I'm talking about. I got to get out of the crowd. It's making me uh, <laughs> getting dizzy. You know what I mean? Uh, that's all. That's all for today. That's all for now. I'm Ms. Marcus Conti reporting from San Gennaro Feast in Manhattan, New York. Peace.